The benefits of becoming certified in the behavioral health field, uh, there are several. For me, first and foremost, it was a personal commitment to my professional and personal growth. This commitment was extremely important to me and I found that it's extremely important to all people in making a decision uh, to take yourself more seriously. Second, which is just as important, is we all want to make more money. So for us to make more money and to advance within the field and for other people to take us seriously, it's extremely important to make that commitment and show others, especially employers or potential employers, that we have taken ourselves seriously enough and have dedicated the time and energy to becoming certified in the field so that we can become more well-rounded, um, knowledgeable, uh, educated people in, in being able to be employed and being able to treat uh, people and, and elevate the quality of care that we can provide. So one of the things that comes up and, and had, as a matter of fact just came up recently um, from one of my students in class um, was the question was posed, there's a distinct difference from what's in the study guide, the Florida Certification Study Guide, as to what the curriculum is and what the instructor's uh, information that's provided in the classroom. And I think they were hoping that it would be more out of the book. And actually, they were surprised at my response, which was, that's what separates the Academy for Addiction Professionals and other schools, and that's what makes us special, is that not only do we provide the information necessary for someone to pass the test, the exam, but we provide them a wealth of knowledge and information, practical information, and hands-on experience about actual day-to-day -day goings on and working in the treatment field that you can't get out of any book. Anyone can study and pass a test out of a book, but not everyone can get that same experience and knowledge and information that's provided from working in a classroom. For myself personally, when I went through the Academy for Addiction Professionals, I gained more information and learned more by the exchange of information amongst the students and the instructor's individual way that they pre presented the material than I got from studying out of a study guide any. So ultimately I had to study to pass the test, but what I got was immediate hands-on practical information in, in the classroom that I wouldn't have gotten online or I wouldn't have gotten if I had taken the classes at home that I was able to immediately use working in the field my first day at work. I myself personally believe very, very strongly in, in treatment, uh, in behavioral health treatment for substance abuse and mental health. And one of the reasons why I began teaching uh, and, be and continue to teach is because I love passing on information and passion um, and, and, and helping people become excited about the profession they chose. Quite honestly, this isn't the most lucrative profession. We, 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 we don't necessarily make the most money. We, you know, we work a lot of hours and, and we deal with a lot of uh, emotional stress. But in the end, to see the students become excited and passionate and in class get excited about the information and have opinions and, 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 and healthy exchange of information, um, that's one of, the greatest, um, one of the greatest pleasures I get from teaching personally because what they do is, is, is they make a decision. While they're in school, and while we're in class, you could see them actually make a decision that this is what they really want to do and this is what they're really passionate about doing if they hadn't made that decision already. And that's one of the, one of the gifts of, of actually teaching and what draws me to teach. Uh, and I, I'm excited every time I get to teach a class, whether it be the substitute or whether it's one of my own classes, I get excited about giving uh, my energy and passion about this field. Um, to the people who, who are seeking out the information from us. One of the things that is extremely important to us as instructors, myself and, and the other instructors, is interaction, classroom interaction. It's really important that everyone be involved in the classroom experience. Anyone can stand up and do a PowerPoint presentation. Anyone can stand up and read from handouts. We can, anyone can have people read. At, at 6 o'clock at night, at 9 o'clock at night, after people have worked full days, it's extremely difficult to keep people enthused and energetic and, and, and engaged. So one of the things that I do, and I know that my fellow instructors like to do, is to, is to have exercises and, and uh, open forum discussions that help everyone get involved. It also empowers the student and allows them to feel like they have a voice and that their information that they've uh, gathered from their personal experience or, or their education or their experience in addiction personally, um, it matters. And that we're open to hearing their opinions and their ideas 
and that sparks a, a tremendous amount of passion and enthusiasm amongst their fellow students that they feel like they're empowered to be involved and that they're heard and that they're not just being stood over and preached at or taught, but that they're part of their own learning experience. In closing, I want to reiterate and reinforce uh, the importance of education, um, the importance of becoming educated and well-rounded uh, in this field to provide uh, the highest quality of care to our clients, um, your clients in the future one day, and that we are extremely excited about having hungry, excited, enthusiastic young uh, people uh, in the, uh, enter the field and that the field needs are good people who are passionate about working in the field, and I actually look forward to seeing you uh, in the future in our classroom. Thank you.